Hi, this is going to be a spiral earring and necklace set. Hello, good people. This is Sherry Shine from Sharika Originals. I'm coming to you again today, bringing you another tutorial. This is going to be a spiral necklace and earring set. And it's very easy. It's going to be quick. Your supplies are, you need three pieces of 12 gauge aluminum wire. You need to cut them 20 inches long. You need your three-in-one pliers, uh, the rubber pliers. They are not mandatory, but they are helpful. And you will need earring findings. Ear, you will need ear hooks. Okay. All we're going to do is create a series of spirals. We're going to work on the earring first. And you start by making the tiniest loop that you can make with your with your round nose pliers and you kind of clamp it use them as a clamp and when you're when you're curling this put the wire as close as you can when you're making the spirals very very close we want this to be a tight tight spiral and then once you get it going it's easier for me at least it's easier to make the spiral with your hand so what I'm gonna do is and we're gonna go around about seven times for the first for the first spiral so we're gonna just continue to go around until we get around seven times and then and be sure to keep the wire straight with your hands and curl it around I need to start counting How many times is this? And I count from one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to go around one more time. Okay. Now what we're going to do, in order to make the second spiral, you're going to take your pliers and I feel like I'm coming from the back. Take the pliers, hold them, and then wrap it around the front of the pliers. Wrap it around as tight as you can. And start the, start, start the spiral Again, holding it as tight as you can. I keep changing hands, I know. I'm left-handed, so this may work a little bit differently for some other people. Okay, and let's see, I think I went around this one about four times. So we'll wrap and wrap, go around. So this is the last time. And then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to, we're going to go around the, the back. We're going to put our, put our pliers in and then we're going to loop it around the front of the pliers and make another spiral that you're going to start. And this is the last one. And now, can you see that that spiral is not directly over this spiral? So I'm going to do this again because I want, I want this spiral to, to be... Okay, so... 
gonna try to do this again. Okay, we're gonna, oh, I wanna straighten that out. I'm gonna loop, loop the spiral. There we go. Here we go. Okay, now it's centered. I want the spirals to be centered over each other. I gotta I have to straighten this out a little bit. Flat that out a little bit. Okay, now we will continue the spiral. Make it as tight as you can, as close as you can to the other. And this is just gonna be two. Okay, what we're gonna do now is make a right angle, and then we're going to take our pliers again we're gonna loop over again, but this time we are making a loop for the ear hook. I'm bringing, I'm bringing this wire behind because I'm gonna cut it. I want my loop to be directly over, directly over these three. So now I'm gonna cut it. my regular cutters and I'm gonna cut it right back here see we have this little hook so now we have to close this hole here okay closing that and there we have the earring and then we're gonna you put the ear hook on it. So, as I've said in previous videos, when you open an ear hook, you open it from the side. So I'm gonna twist it from the side, open it really big, because this is a big piece of wire, and then put it on, and then close. Close it back up from the side. Okay, so there you have the earring. And then you do the same thing again to make the second, make the second earring. I'm gonna lay this aside. Now, the necklace is much easier. For the, on the necklace, all we have to do is do the spiral. So we start again with the smallest spiral that we can make, smallest little loop that we can make. It's We curl it as close as we can, as close as we can. And then when we get so far, we can just use our fingers. So I'm using it to hold it. And now I think I can start using my, using my fingers to just Gonna roll it, rolling it, rolling it, keeping it tight, keeping it close, keeping it even, squeezing it between your hands to keep it even. And keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Keep going, keep going. We're over halfway there. And it's according to what size you want your necklace to be. But these are the general measurements that I'm giving you. Remember, it's your art, it's your piece. So you do what you want to do with it. You may find some other little twist that you can put in it. That's why it's art. You bring the art. I give you a technique and then you make it art. You make it yours. And when you're doing these projects, show me what you do. If you have any questions at any time, also just um, ask whatever questions you have. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to turn this piece 
up, straight up like that. Can you see that it's, it's straight up like that? And then I'm going to make a big loop. I want a big loop because my, and to form the loop, I just need something round. So since I didn't bring anything other than this, I'm going to, I'm going to use one of my handles as a shaper for this. So I'm going to bend this around to shape, okay? Okay, let me get it off. I have it on there pretty tight. Okay, so now I have a little bit of extra, so I'm gonna cut that off. So let me, I'm gonna cut this off right here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna pull it back to the back and pull it around this way. I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it to the back and I'm pulling it around this way. And then I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna See, I'm just gonna close this and put it there. All right, this is our pendant. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you'll like and subscribe. After you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of future videos when we post them.